this is my mineral oil PC. I wanted to build something that is totally different and to my best of knowledge maybe not attempted before which is build an oil PC within a generic PC case. This case is a highly modified Cooler Master Cosmos S full tower and within it occupies uh, a partially submerged oil computer within an aquarium. So let me show a quick 360 with the power down then I'll power it up and show you how it works. This, probably you're wondering what it is, what it is, is, well, it looks like a jet engine and that's what I made it to look like, but its function is actually the main cooling unit. Inside it, there are five 140 by 140 millimeter radiators and uh, there are 11 fans. Uh, this fan is an extractor fan for the front components because they do also generate heat and there's no place for them to dissipate this heat so I actually ported this fan so it can take air only from the front to dissipate the heat build up okay um, let me uh, go through these controllers and displays quickly this controller which is the Lantron Touch controls the cooling unit, the front and this engine. Uh, these control the pumps and the lights. This one contains a Blu-ray disc drive and a multi uh, multi card reader, as well as a slot to insert an, a 2.5 SSD card or uh, a 2.5 hard disk drive. Uh, the Touch 2000. Uh, fan controller uh, actually is not controlling any fans or any lights I'm just using it as uh, a monitor to monitor the speeds of the pumps as well as the temps uh, down here we have the alpha cool multi display function uh, as the name show as the name implies uh, it displays several things like uh, uh, system usage uh, network status and several other things hard disk, hard disk is down here and if you have noticed uh, it's actually protruding a little bit here from the front I created this bezel here so that the metal part of the cage of the hard disk cage does not show just to make it blend in better uh, with the case uh, the reason it's protruding to the outside because there isn't space inside for it to go all the way in uh, the aquarium is occupying that space okay so uh, I'll show a bit from the back before we power, power up the unit. Okay, this is the plumbing here. A quick preview of the plumbing. I designed this plumbing for, uh, for the system to be serviceable. I can cut off the circulation from several places. I have two valves here and here and there are two pumps here there's this this is the purge valve here if I need to empty the system drain it from the oil to service it this is how I drain it I open this valve here and I unplug it from here and all the oil comes out okay we have these two filters here oh and in case anyone's wondering this is a dehumidifier Inside it, there's silica gel, you know, you can find those within uh, some hardware, they come with the hardware in uh, like small packets, uh, uh, paper packets, they remove the humidity within the package, so this hum removes the humidity from within the aquarium, because I live in a coastal region, and uh, it tends to get really humid here, like 80% humidity minimum, so this does help in removing the humidity from the system just in case because as you know water and electronics do not mix so we have four pumps we have this one here 
here, here, and here. Okay, so, oh yeah, uh, you can see the wires are all tucked in. Here are the main cables, the wires. There are some wires here, but these are not part of the PC. They're just connecting the PC to the main power. Sound system is down there. And one more thing I would like to show you is or are the air pumps. Here we have two air pumps. They're uh, aquarium fish tank air pumps. Uh, I've got two of them, of course. And uh, uh, they activate the bubbler, which I'll be showing as well. Okay, so let's power up the system. Everything's functioning normally. Okay, let me go into log on to the windows. Okay. Okay, I'll show some of the functions. Okay, this is the intake temp. And here on this controller, you can see this is the oil coming out of the aquarium. Okay, this is the temperature of it. I've been running the system for a couple of hours before. I just shut it down temporarily so I could show you how it starts up. So this is the temperature coming out of the aquarium. This is the temperature coming into the aquarium or going into the aquarium after it has been cooled by the radiators. So you can see the temperature difference is like 33C, 27C. Okay, and uh, these these are basically identical here uh, because I did not activate the bubbler. The, uh, the bubbler has to be activated for a couple of hours for these to give a correct reading. There's also an intake and uh, uh, like in out for the bubbler. Air goes in and from another place goes out and there are actually temperature probes for the in and out. So here we have the pump readouts. Okay, the pumps are being controlled by these four knobs here. This is pump one, pump two, pump three, pump four. And this is, uh, these are the pump speeds. This is pump one, pump two, pump 3 and pump 4 okay this is the multi display here okay there we go
focus okay I call this computer oil rig basically from its name or from its function and this is me sort 666 operating system and all and there you go now I'll just move a little small sneak peek in the back and here's the back of the engine I made it look like a, a kind of an afterburner you know back there there's the jet exhaust yep and now let me show and or demonstrate the bubbler I have the bubbler control down here if you can see there's a two switch control one switch per bubbler and I'm gonna activate one of them okay and here we go starting to bubble the bubbles are basically just for show they don't increase in the cooling efficiency much they may aid slightly in tumbling the, the oil as in uh, circulating it but in fact if you put a lot of bubbles it would decrease the efficiency of the cooling because oil becomes less dense so I'd advise people who build oil computers not to put too many bubbles in there not too much bubbles but it does look good you can tell by the thickness of the oil how the bubbles take a lot of time until they raise to the surface the oil is a lot thicker than the kind used in the US and that is basically it I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or questions uh, please free to feel free to ask and uh, I'll answer them to my best of knowledge and as soon as I can thank you for watching bye bye